Okay, so in this video, we're going to set up Firebase. So we're going to create a new project in Firebase. So make sure you have a Google account. I'm sure you have. Uh, if not, you can create one. Pretty easy. Okay, so let's go to this firebase.google.com. And as you can see, I'm already logged in. Okay. I have a Gmail account with Google. Right, so let's go to Firebase and click on Get Started. So, React blog, right? Okay, no worries. Shouldn't take one, maybe a minute. Firebase is very, very fast. How, <laughs> however, their dashboard is not so fast. And probably because there's a lot going on there. Okay. okay. And then you click on this one. Add Firebase to your web app. Okay. Click that, and then you will see something like this. Okay? So copy this because this is the config file you need. Okay, so the first thing you need is this. We don't need all these scripts, we just need this one. Okay, so let's copy and let's head over to again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file called Firebase. Okay, new file inside the source folder, and let's save it as. Firebase.js. Okay. So here we're going to have this uh, config that we copied from there. So let's paste that in. So variable config and all that. Let's name it const. Okay, const. And the first thing we want to do is we need to import Firebase but we can't do that because we haven't installed firebase yet right we need to install this firebase package so let me save this file just here and let me head over to terminal and the first thing i want to do is i want to create i want to install this firebase package okay so Control c and then i use yarn add if you're using npm you can say npm npm install fibers right. okay it's done now let me start up the server again yeah and start and then I guess so we have this the first thing I want to do is I want to import everything from as Firebase from Firebase okay import everything from as Firebase from Firebase and we have this config file this config has as you can see the API key auth domain this is the auth domain bc10 is it we have the storage bucket as well we have all this stuff again out of the share all of that so first thing what you want to do is we want to reference to a certain like it's like creating a table in your database okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a post okay so export const database we just name it database you could name it anything or we just name it database because the, this is the main you know, feature of our application so database so what it refers is it refers to firebase dot data base and then we're going to reference to the post so it will create a post table and it's not table it's not traditional database it's a JSON format However, it, it will create this reference to post. Okay. If I go to the database, because I'm sure you already did, get started, yes. And as you can see, there's nothing, it's now. And if you go to rules, it is by default, it's auth not equals to null. That means it needs authentication. 
to write or read to this database. Just for the moment, we don't have the authentication implemented yet, which we will do later. For, but for the moment, we're going to change it to true. So later when we build this authentication implement that feature, then we'll come back and change. Right. Now it's changed to true. Okay. Now reference posts. Now the, the first thing we're going to do in this project is I'm going to uh, build a form and we input some data into the form and we post that data to the Firebase. Because I don't like to work with the dummy data. You know, it's just I could I could just come here and create some sample data, but I just I don't like to hard code like that because it's easy. You know? Let's build the form in our application here and then we we'll just post data from it. that will be the first thing we'll do okay so in this video we didn't do much we just set up the firebase and we have the config file here so this is it and we'll continue in this project in the next video thank you